Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStampIt.blogspot.com and we're not over yet. I've got another really fun recipe to show you. Really quick and easy. It's only a matter of four ingredients and it is actually a topping that will go on waffles or pancakes or, um, and actually I'm not a big pancake eater, so when I have this I actually really enjoy eating pancakes with it because it's so good. Or you can also pour it on ice cream and what it is, it's going to be banana maple syrup topping. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so what I have here is a saucepan that's heating up and heating up a little bit too fast I'd say. And I have a cup and a half of syrup. What I definitely prefer using is pure maple syrup just because your body can process that and I don't like using corn syrup because I don't believe that your body can process it. Anyway, that's another story, another video, another place in time. But this is uh, the syrup that I just poured in here, a cup and a half. And the original recipe I actually lost, and I can't remember, I saw it in some magazine, but the one thing I do remember from the original recipe was that it call, called for a cube of butter. Good heaven, that's like saying, can I have a heart attack early? Especially in only like a cup and a half of syrup. I think that's ridiculous. So I've tried it, and I made it with no butter, and then I tried it with two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of butter is great. No butter, it was missing something. Two tablespoons brought it all together and married the flavors. So, anyway, we're just going to let this boil, and then we'll come back. What I do normally when I get this going is that I um, chop two bananas. So you can see I've done that right here. Chop two bananas, and then also get at least, depending on how much you like pecans, at least a quarter cup and you could even do as much as a half a cup if you really wanted it nutty so okay I'm liking where we are with this we definitely are at a boil and you can just do like a slow boil but although we're getting up to pretty much a rapid boil here so I'm gonna turn this way down and then what we're gonna do is add two tablespoons of butter so I'm gonna go ahead and get the two tablespoons add it into there for the creaminess That'll also bring the temperature down there, have a little bit something cool, as well as these bananas. Now, if any of you have ever cooked bananas in any type of syrup, they plump up so nicely, and they um, release their natural banana extract that is in there. It flavors this syrup so incredibly. It tasted, it tastes like you dumped banana syrup into this. It is, it is so yummy. So just by its own natural sweetness, because they're so high in sugar, that um, it's just amazing what it does to, to the flavor of this. So I'm going to go ahead and just add these into here, and I'm going to let this boil for a little bit longer. And so you guys can take a look and kind of see what they I'm going to get this really close so you can take a look and see what they look like now. So right now they look like just fresh bananas. Whoops, sorry guys. Right now they look like just fresh bananas in there. And when it's done boiling, let's say for about a minute and a half to two minutes, you'll see a difference in the plumpness and in the color. And I'll show you that when we come back. I'm going to go ahead and also, this has been cooking for just a little bit, but not enough. I'm going to go ahead and add the nuts at this time. So this has been going for just about 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and add the nuts into there. And you could have added it all at the same time if you wanted to. Really, it's not going to be a big deal. So anyway, you just add that. I'm just going to stir, give this a quick stir around here like so. And let this go for about another minute to a minute and a half. And then when we come back, I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, let me show you this banana here really up close. You can kind of see what I'm talking about, about how much they plump up and get really um well this the sauce gets a little bit looking foamy and then these get really plump so um a quick tip for you guys too to keep your uh nuts lasting longer is i keep mine in the fridge here's another one that looks really plump here so um i keep mine excuse me in the freezer and if you do want to change this up you could do macadamia nuts and a little bit of coconut would be another nice add to this so if you really want to impress someone and it's super simple like I said this is only four ingredients what a yummy way to do this you can keep this in the fridge I'd say for about five to seven days or you can also freeze this this freezes really nicely so anyway if you want to give this as a treat to someone or just serve it to them over some yummy pancakes or waffles it is incredible so I hope you guys give this one a try take care guys bye bye